My name is Dylan McCullough and this is a five minute lecture on thyroiditis. Thyroiditis in general is inflammation of the thyroid. It also has no unique symptoms that really set it apart from other chronic conditions. Slow chronic thyroid cell destruction in thyroiditis presents as a hypothyroidism state, whereas rapid thyroid cell damage and destruction presents as a hyperthyroidism state. It typically has three phases being the thyrotoxic, hypothyroid, and then new thyroid phases. Different forms of thyroiditis are Hashimoto's, subacute or declare veins, silent or painless, postpartum, drug induced, and radiation induced thyroiditis. And the provided links add more information about these different subcategories. Um, causes and risk factors for thyroiditis are medications, specifically interferon and amiodarone, the body creating antibodies to attack the thyroid, which would be an autoimmune disorder and is the most common cause, radiation exposure, or viral and bacterial infections of the thyroid. And thyroiditis typically has a strong family hereditary connection. Exam findings are going to be your hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism symptoms, which are normally very subjective. Um, for hyperthyroidism, typically think the symptoms associated with fast or sped up metabolism. For hypothyroidism, think slowed down metabolism. And also a note, um, physical findings may include visualization of an enlarged thyroid or palpation of nodules on the thyroid. And the patient could present with a goiter that would um, cause them to have difficulty swallowing or breathing. And also the thyroid may or may not be painful. Um, for definitive diagnosis of thyroiditis, um, you need to do your thyroid function test, TSH, T3, T4. Also thyroid antibody test because of its autoimmune characteristics. Um, ESR to assess the inflammation of the thyroid and systemic inflammation also, and uh, thyroid ultrasound to assess the thyroid size, blood flow, and the texture and density of the thyroid itself, and the radioactive iodine uptake, um, which is always low in the thyrotoxic phase of thyroiditis. Treatments for the thyrotoxic phase, um, antithyroid medications are rarely needed. It's normally just symptomatic treatment. Um, the palpitations, anxiety, tremors, heat intolerance, and increased sweating in this phase are typically treated with beta blockers. Uh, thyroidal pain is normally treated with anti-inflammatories such as aspirin and ibuprofen. Steroids can be used but are often not. Um, once it's progressed to the hypothyroid phase, that's when you can use your levothyroxines or Synthroid for thyroid replacement. Um, this is going to be for at least six to 12 months, and in the case of Hashimoto's, is usually lifelong thyroid replacement. If the thyroiditis is caused by an infection, treat the in infection appropriately and then symptom management at that point. And if it's medication induced thyroiditis, stop the medication that causes it and find an alternative treatment for the patient. <coughs> Um, important patient education is that hypothyroidism treatment will take at least six to 12 months and can be lifelong in the case of Hashimoto's. Also in the thyrotoxic phase, patients need to monitor for arrhythmias and other heart related complications. Um, in patients who do not have the Hashimoto's thyroiditis, um, it is important for them to know that they may return to full thyroid function. It will take at least 12 to 18 months, though, however. And all patients with thyroiditis need to maintain regular visits with their primary care and, and or endocrinologist for routine scheduled thyroid panels and radiological thyroid studies. Also, genetic testing could be done for patients with a history family history of thyroid disease for routine screening. Thank you.